Hi everyone, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com and I'm back with another channeled video. This one has a little bit of a twist to it and this person was more of a channeled celebrity on the internet or YouTube. And I'm talking about Isaac Cappy who passed away apparently as he, and this is their words, not mine, forced himself off a bridge. Now, I just want you guys to first and foremost pay attention when you're reading anything in the media, reading anything online to the way that it's worded. In every single article that I read on Isaac Cappy, they use the word, he forced himself off a bridge. If you are forcing yourself off a bridge, you are not going of your own free will or they wouldn't be using the word force. Now, remember, and this is where my mind went immediately, remember, when it comes to things like sigil magic, they will tell you whoever is orchestrating the energy around a certain ritual, they will tell you what they're doing. And so the word forced is very telling to somebody like me. So they are letting you know that he forced himself off the bridge, which makes no sense. If you're committing suicide, you're jumping off the bridge or you're hanging off the bridge or you're flailing yourself off the bridge, but you are not forcing yourself because if you have to force yourself, you wouldn't be doing it. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. But anyway, aside from that, I really wanted to start from a neutral palette about what was going on with Isaac Cappy. Now, for those of you who don't know Isaac Cappy, he is a former actor who participated in several movies along his way, his career, and he was very vocal in the latter half of his life, well, actually, probably the last four years, in outing people in Hollywood for their apparent abuse of children. And he was nonstop with it. He was speaking about it day in, day out. He did videos. A lot of his YouTube channel has been scrubbed and taken down. A lot of the work that he did in articles and writing, I can't find online anymore, which is interesting. It's almost as if they tried to wipe him out and push him aside. Now, here's what I did pick up with him. Of the people he accused in Hollywood of being abusive towards children, there were some huge big name stars. So I can see why he would have a big target on his forehead from people around you know, the Hollywood sphere because he would be basically picking up steam and speed. He had a lot of followers. People were listening to him and nobody was suing him or taking him to court, telling him to shut his mouth. So quite interestingly, he forced himself off a bridge. But let me get past that and pick up on the energy. I wanted to actually try to understand the energy around the situation. And it was so I started to meditate on Isaac and I've been thinking about it and my initial reaction to what happened to Isaac was I was pissed off because I could pretty much tell you that was coming and it may sound ludicrous, but I can pretty much tell you that this man was going to end up dead on some level through some quote accident or forced off a bridge situation and circumstance. But it really angered me the minute that I heard it and I probably heard it within 10 minutes that it started to be reported. Here is the problem that I was having with it because as, and I did look over the videos of his last um, upload and I did look at a lot of his videos prior to that to see the tempo of the personality. What I got intuitively, and this is not directly connecting with Isaac because I haven't been able to do that exactly the way that I can connect with other people, nor have I tried, but I wanted to start a video with this so I could do a bunch of videos on Isaac after this as it goes. But what I picked up with him, um, so let's say you are a person who is speaking the truth about a circumstance and people don't like it. That will make you a target. I think if you remember, there was a movie about the uh, tobacco company and the whistleblower with the tobacco company and he had to get away from his family and he feared for his life. You know, in any circumstance where there's big money involved and secrets of a perverted or a harmful nature, people are gonna try to take you out. But in this particular instance, I don't actually believe that Isaac took his own life. I feel like this was a programmed, I'm gonna use the word a programmed trance, but I've seen it with other people and other clients that I've dealt with. 
I've seen it over the years and I never knew quite how to label it, but it was very apparent to me when I started to focus on the energy around the circumstance. There are two ways that people, actually probably many ways, but two ways that people can be murdered. One is at the hands of another on this planet in an earthbound body. And the other is opening the door to demonic possession or demonic influence. Now, again, how do we do that? We don't, we try not to. But if we are doing it, it's because we are on drugs and alcohol or we have done some sort of sexual magic ritual to open up those portals. Because keep in mind, what we think we can do on earth and what we really can do from a heightened perspective, we're not given that information. It's blocked a lot from us. So there's many things that we do and walk into as human beings and people without even understanding what we are actually doing. So if you open the door through drugs and alcohol and you let that energy in through, and it can come in through people that you are around, people that you are physical with, people that you have sexual contact with. And if you open the door to that energy, you will notice and you have heard, I'm sure all over the news, the media, wherever, that people will say they heard voices. Now going all the way back to Joan of Arc, she too heard voices. It's just a matter of where are those voices coming from. And the voices are not necessarily schizophrenic. You're not necessarily mentally ill. There are many different ways in which those thoughts can be programmed into the human aura. And that's what I feel happened. I feel for some reason that Isaac was playing with some sort of elevated meditation or elevated ritualistic practice. I also feel that there was something that Isaac stepped into next to the guise of someone that was a friend, and this is female, this is a female person, this is somebody who presented themselves as his friend and presented themselves as someone who was on his side for quite some time. And I believe at this point that Isaac was either dulled or nullified to the experience of what was going on. Meaning, to me what that means is when somebody, okay, roofies you, puts something in a drink, tunes your brain out due to whatever. Now, I want you to keep in mind too, there are certain rhythms and beats. If you go to certain musical places or you've seen certain tribal things where you hear the drums beating in a particular array of movement, which formulates an energetic barrier. These things happen. Most people don't think of it. Most people are like, that's just drumming or that's just music. If you are susceptible to certain things, then you can fall into a quote, trance-like circumstance that allows your logical thinking to move in a different direction. And I feel like this is what happened to Isaac. Now, let's just say you are a person that was around somebody and let's say they did roofie you. I'm gonna use the word roofie. Uh, it's been years, but anyway, I'm gonna use that word. Let's say they put something in your drink, in your food, you know, whatever. I do get that Isaac was very cautious about this, but I do believe that he trusted this person and let them into his life. And so if you're going to do that, let's say you wake up from that circumstance and somebody says to you, oh my God, look what happened here. Now, as Isaac said in many of his videos, the key, the key to elevated success on earth, which is, and he didn't word it like that, but that is money, success, fame, wealth, acknowledgement, is through blackmail. That is exactly what happened to him. But I don't feel he did anything that he should have thought was blackmail. So I am feeling like he was tricked into thinking that he did something that he could be blackmailed for when he didn't really do something that he could be blackmailed for. And I hear the voices inside of his head, meaning I hear them telling him to kill himself. There are times when I have heard spirits with people where the people have actually committed suicide and it's been the spirit on the other side, we'll call it demonic, we'll call it alien, call it whatever you want, but it's been the essence in a non-human form directing and orchestrating the person who at a moment of depression or sadness vibration 
which is a lower vibration down here. It's very easy to attach to that when you are a nefarious energy on the other side. That's why you always have to keep your energy elevated. When they say it's easier to put a smile on your face and be happy, that is true, but the real reason behind it is so that you don't become prey to energies that can attach themselves in a negative sense to your feelings of lack, weakness, and depression. I feel like that's what happened to Isaac. So when they say he forced himself off a bridge, I really believe it was murder. Now, on a soul level or behind the scenes, and I don't mean necessarily like somebody came up, put him in a car, and threw him off a bridge. I'm actually talking with some sort of energy, which he could hear on a frequency level, encouraging him to do what he was doing without him being fully aware of what he was doing. So it is orchestrated. It is his energy was tampered with. This was something that was not of his own volition. I do not believe he killed himself the way that they're trying to make it seem. I do believe that he did jump off the bridge, but not of his own accord. I believe this was being spoken to him in his head and he didn't have the wherewithal with which to push it back and say, stop. Also, I feel him looking around and he's got nowhere to go. I also feel that what he thinks he did in a corruptive manner was not exactly what he did. I do know that he did a huge gamble and the gamble didn't pay out. The way I'm going to word this to you is I feel like he took a gamble on something. This is information based to me. I am seeing an envelope handed over and I'm seeing it push like this and I see one coming back at him. So I think he took payment for something and was double crossed. This is actually what I feel. And I feel that he agreed to it against himself and that as a result of that, he felt like he betrayed everybody. I don't actually think he betrayed everybody because I don't think human beings are perfect. And I don't think that he did anything that warrants that kind of hatred toward the self. I feel it then stepped in the energy outside of him, the voices outside of him, making him respond in a way, shutting him down energetically. Now, the only thing I can't figure out is if this was actually spirit-based or government-based, which sounds really weird, but meaning of human mechanical ideology or literally demonic on the spirit side, because it's striking me as demonic, but I've learned a lot of what we think is actually spiritual realm has to do with human round government realm so i am not sure which it is but i am going to start meditating on it and see what i get from it i can tell you that i can see the voices permeating his head telling him to do this i can see it but yet i can see him fighting but it's interesting because he he doesn't know how to take this so it's like he's trying to avoid something and I feel the reason for his trip, I know they said he was going somewhere purposefully, but I feel like the reason for his trip was actually to get away from it and he couldn't stop it from speaking. Um, and I feel almost, and I have to word it this way, I have no idea what this means and forgive me if it sounds completely insane, but I feel as if he walked up on that bridge and it was almost remote control, methodical like, um, I'm not thinking this is just what I do, robotic. That's what I get with him. And I haven't even connected to his energy. I'm trying to connect to the energy that I feel around it, what I first felt when I heard it. That's the first video I have for you. And I will be back with more videos on Isaac Cappy. I want you guys to start researching though, what he was talking about and what he was um, speaking about. Read about him, learn about him, and ask yourself from your own intuition, what does this feel like to you? What does it feel like to you? Then I want you to go to the Instagram pages of the particular people that he was calling out, one major movie star in particular. I want you guys to sort of, um, I hear my phone ringing. I want you guys to research this for yourself and ask yourself what symbology is prevalent through all of this strand of thinking. And once again, my name is Sloan from SloanBella.com.